My name is Josefa and I'm so glad to see all of you. Please be sure to join us each week for a different story time and activity. Now, let's sing our welcome song just like what we do at the museum. On the count of three, can you sing this song with me? For those of you that don't know, it goes to the tune of this old man. Are you ready? One, two, three. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time with the Met where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see, we'll use our ears to hear stories. Now take a seat and give a Let's begin with our first book. Round of applause, my friends. Great job singing. Our book for today is called Tiger in My Soup. Written by Kashmira Seth and illustrated by Jeffrey Ebler. Now I'm going to read the words and I'm going to need your help looking at the pictures. Today, my big sister is in charge of the house, the lunch, and me. I hold up my book. Will you read to me, I ask? Not now, she says. I look at the pictures by myself, downside up and upside down, with my eyes open and my eyes closed. But it's no fun doing it by myself. Will you read my book to me, I ask again? It's about tigers, big, hungry tigers. My sister doesn't answer. I try something else. I'm hungry! This time, she hears me. My sister gives me a bowl of soup for lunch. Be careful, she says. It's hot. While the soup cools, will you read to me, I beg? Later, she says. stir my soup. Something steamy puffs up. A tiger! There's a tiger in my soup! I drop my spoon. I glance over at my sister. Help! Grrr. My sister grumbles. She hands me a clean spoon. The tiger looks really mad. Oh, no. I have to protect myself. I stab at him with my spoon and some tiger spit lands on my face. <gasps> How scary. This means war. See, the sister does not notice any of this. I launch a missile at the tiger. <whistles> right on target. Where did he go? My sister looks up from her book. Why do you let your soup get cold, she asks. Here, I'll warm it up. Look out for the tiger. It's too late. The tiger's muffled roar rumbles from inside the microwave. 
Sister sighs. Where's your book? I hand it to her and she begins to read. In the hot, steamy jungle, there was a loud roar. No, 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 I say. You have to roar like a tiger. Do you ever ask your grown ups to make the voices when they're reading to you? <laughs> Grrr. Look what happens. Tiger became a sister. Look at those claws and those big ferocious teeth. Grrr. I eat my soup and keep one eye on my sister. I wonder where the tiger will show up next. <laughs> the end. Round of applause, my friends. Great job listening to our story. This book reminds me of a really cool painted tiger from the Met Collection. This artist uh, drew with ink and he used a hanging scroll as well. Take a look and tell me what you can find and what you can see. This artist is all the way from Japan and he was actually really famous and was known for his drawings of tigers. What I really like about this hanging scroll is that part of the tiger's body is off the page. So you kind of have to imagine what the rest of the tiger would look like, just like the boy did in the story. What kinds of sounds do you think this tiger would be making? What kind of position with his body do you think the tiger would be making? Maybe he's pouncing really, really low to the ground, looking and hunting. Maybe he's stretching after sleeping for a long time. Take a closer look and try to find all the different details and different colors that you can in this beautiful artwork. <laughs> all right, my friends, before we say goodbye, we do have a really fun activity for you to do at home. Just like what the boy thought in the story about imagining an animal in an unlikely place, like in a soup, I want you to pick one animal and draw this animal in a very unlikely place. I made my drawing. This is a drawing of a giraffe in a library, which would be a very unusual place for a giraffe. But I imagine this giraffe could really help getting the very, very books at the very, very top of the shelf. Because of his very, very long neck, he could maybe help, help out with that. <laughs> All right, my friends, well, it is time to say goodbye. I hope you join us each week for a different story time and activity. Goodbye, my friends.